And it's me again. I really don't want to do this. I have to. Parents. FCC. Why? For those who don't know what I'm talking about, YouTube is changing its guidelines again. But this time, it's probably the worst that could happen. Starting January 1st of next year, so we got the rest this month, we have all the next month. We're in 2019. I don't, I'm pretty sure, as far as I know, what I'm about to talk about is not going to take effect this year, but January 1st, 2020, is what's going to take effect, as far as I know. But, YouTube changed, YouTube's changing its guidelines to where, for channel owners like myself, we have to change we have to like change our stuff so people can tell if we're family friendly or not because parents because it's the media's fault that their kids are violent and everything when really Parents being stupid, like always, but you know, what can I do about that? I'm not a parent, I'm only 20, I could be a parent at this age, but then again, my kid wouldn't, but then again, I would still know to not give my kids what pretty much every parent is giving to the kids. Phones, tablets, computers, I will not give that to my kid until I decide they're ready. Because, for one, I'm actually smart. And two, I don't blame ev anything. I don't blame any sort of media for anything. I'm not an idiot. <laughs> I'm making this video with an upset stomach, so this is really gonna hurt me. This is why I got my tea here, just in case. So, you know. Yeah, we have to go, it's, uh. I don't really know the process, but all I do know, because I'm sure this is what every YouTuber knows, as much as every YouTuber knows, we have to change the settings to if we're family friendly or not. Now, this is the truth. This channel is not family friendly. This is not kid friendly. Most of the games I play on this channel are T rated T for teen, so 13 and older. I will play some M rated games, which is mature 17 and up. Fuck. 17 and up. M rated. Which one issue parents need to check? These things have ratings for a reason. And then all sort of Mortal Kombat back in 1992. The original Mortal Kombat is what started the rating system. And these parents think it's okay to use these things. Come on. Use stuff like this right here this is an Amazon Kindle Fire people parents think 
it's okay to give these kids, to give their kids stuff like this, just because it'll keep them entertained and they won't have to watch the kids. Which, if you ask me, is bad parenting, and I'm not even a parent. If my mom were here, she would agree with me on this subject. I, as a kid, I didn't even have much. We, my, me, and my other siblings, we didn't have much. We did have like a PS2, and like several years later, an Xbox 360 that we don't have anymore. That's all we had. We also had TV, of course. But, you know, that's all we had. And we hardly had time to play that stuff. And then when we did, we didn't even play it that much. Well, my sisters are not doing it anyway. John? He hogs her stuff like he's still fucking does it. He's says every console in his house is his, apparently, even though it's not. Like, the only thing, he's, he, he tried to take my three, Xbox 360 Elite for me and say it was his. No, it wasn't. He tried taking it without my, letting me know. The only thing he really says is not his is my aunt's PS4 and my SNES Classic. And soon my Wii, hopefully. But I'm get, not getting the Wii for myself. I'm getting it for everybody. But it'll still be my Wii, regardless. But, yeah. I didn't grow up with much growing up. But these days, parents are giving their kids all this expensive electric, all these expensive, expensive electronics, expecting those to babysit their kids. No, that's not how parenting, that's not how it works. And I know it's parents because they've been blaming like these games anything for their kids' bad behavior for the past several years or so. Like they blame the games. And they don't blame themselves. It, who's the one who are the people who bought these games for them? The parents. Case of the grandparents and other relatives, but not the kids, not the, the games didn't sell themselves to the kids. Somebody had to buy it for them. Especially these emulated games. Kids can't buy emulated games. The are 17 and up for a reason. It says the rating N17 Plus on the front cover and the back cover. And it shows you everything that. No, hold on. Then hold on. I'm holding Mass Effect. Mass Effect. One of my favorite games on the 360. Next to Bayonetta and Path of the Hero. This is. In Perfect Dark Zero, of course. I have been playing the shit out of this lately. Which is why I haven't really, which is why I haven't been record, uploading. I've been playing Mass Effect. So, as you can see, M17 Plus. And you look on the back cover, Mature. 17 plus. And the reasons it's rated 17 plus blood, my language, partial nudity, sexual themes, and violence. 
Nope. Right there. You probably can't see it very well, but that's exactly what it says. Yeah. Parents should really read these. Parents should really read this before they buy these for the kid. Like, I, I played the, I, I, I'm not gonna lie, I played this as a kid. I played it as a kid, alright? But you know, I didn't play it much. And even and when I did play it, I didn't go. My mom didn't blame the game for how I acted. In fact, I didn't even act bad at all. I just thought the shit was cool. Like, you're a human commander in space, fighting ro shoot, fighting robots, aliens, recruiting aliens and humans, trying to stop. A Rogue alien guy. That shit was fucking cool. That shit is fucking cool. Until Mass Effect Andromeda came out, but you know. Whatever. But that shit was fucking cool. I still think it's cool. Like, I love this game. What, like I said, it's one of my favorites. It's, it's why I haven't been uploading much. I mean, I, just, I uploaded a video earlier today because I needed to upload something. And I'm uploading this video because I have to make this video. But you know, these parents are really fucking stupid. And if you are a parent watching this video and you're going to leave an angry comment and reporting me for calling you out, stating the truth. You just proved my point. Like, at what point am I you proving exactly? The point that I, I have stated this on Twitter a lot recently. I have, yes, I have been on Twitter recently too, of course. I've stayed on Twitter that. If you don't know how to read these, don't buy the stuff for your kids. Don't buy the games for the kids. Otherwise, they're going to try to fucking mimic this shit. I mean, games like Mass Effect. Like, I did that stuff as a kid. Like, I was as a kid, I was interested in space and aliens. I'm still interested in that stuff. stuff. Especially aliens, but we don't like to talk about the aliens. As I said, it's, this is not a family family channel. This is more teen and adult family or a uh, teen and adult oriented. So keep your skin clean out there. But yeah, as a kid, I like to mimic that stuff stuff because who didn't like who didn't want to go out and go into outer space and meet aliens as a kid? Like everybody did. Cause that shit would be cool, but games like Grand Theft Auto, especially, I can see where they're coming from, but seriously, read the labels to these games, okay? Like parents have been doing shit like this for years. Since the 90s, when the wider rating system came to be a thing. I mean, sure, it's changed over time. It's like K through A to E rated games. And by the way, I do play some E rated, E, E10 plus rated games on this channel. But that doesn't necessarily mean this, my, my videos are meant for kids. This is a T to M rated channel. And I'm probably going to have to say in the description, 
and it's like all caps. This video, for every video, this video is not for kids. I'm probably going to have to do that for every, in every video from now on. Just in case. Just in case. But I don't think anybody reads the description, so... Like, I'm wasting my time and energy doing it, but I'm gonna do it anyway, because, you know? I like to go all out and game stuff like this. Like, Paladins, for example, which I haven't been playing much of recently, because I kind of lost interest. Which is lately, not just because of Mass Effect, but... I... I've been losing interest for the past few months, like, the game's been making me mad a lot for all the shit it's been doing, the shitty team system, like, I'm getting, like, I'm the only good, one of the few good players, I'm, I'm like the only good player on the teams these days, so I don't play it, I, I do climb daily rewards every so often. But I don't really play it anymore. Cause I've lost interest. But not enough of Paladin. Yeah. I in fact I don't even upload that much anymore as it is. And then we got like these like Joker movie. That's new. I haven't I haven't seen it yet. I'm not going to because I don't want to. Like that's my decision to make, not anybody else's. Like I don't want to see that movie. Like I like Batman and DC much more. I don't like Marvel, but I do like DC. But the Joker movie was rated R. Then parents are doing this only for games. They're doing this for movies, TV shows, and everything. The Joker movie's rated R for reasons. Like, these things have ratings for a reason. Like, it's like, these people, can't, parents can't fucking read any, like, if they can't read, they should go back to, like, kindergarten and things. I'm not gonna fucking read in kindergarten, that's when the school's actually taught. But that's besides the point. What I'm trying to get across is, this whole, you have to decide, tell us if your videos are kid friendly or not thing. It's fucking stupid. Like it is absolute bullshit that parents are just fucking dumb and they have to do this cause they hate being proven wrong and being proven that they're fucking stupid. Like my mom is actually a really fucking good parent. Even if I am 20, like my sister's, one of my sisters turned 18 yesterday. So happy right birthday to her. But, yeah, it's dumb. Are literally attacking us because they like to think they're correct, they're right about everything. And the two too dumb to realize that it's their fault that kids are behaving like this. I don't like YouTube though. You know? That's a different, that's for a different day. But you know, parents are stupid. They one just thinks they're right when they're really not. Like, I love being right. I'm, like, right 99% of the time. I'm wrong here and there. 
but then again, the smartest people on earth aren't always correct. So, you know. Nobody's always 100% correct. Like, sometimes English teachers have a, make a grammar mistake and then correct it. Like, yeah, they correct it. But if these parents keep kept their receipt for like games like this or Grand Theft Auto or something that they don't want the, their kids to play, you should keep the receipt and return it to from to from return it to where you bought it. Except GameStop, never go there. Or if you want to buy a game. Just never trade games or sell them at GameStop. But that's for a different day as well with Nintendo. Or just don't buy stuff for the kids at all. Like people, parents have also gone, gone had issues about like channels like Filthy Frank and everything. Like. <laughs> Channel name like Filthy Frank. The name itself should automatically pop in your head. Hey, this isn't a kid friendly channel. I shouldn't let my kid watch this. And you shouldn't. But these things have parental control for a reason. There's a thing called the YouTube Kids. Use that. You set current parental controls on to what you want them to be. Otherwise, your kids are gonna have free roam over everything on the internet. I'm 20 and I don't want to see everything that's on the internet. Trust me, nobody wants to see everything that's on the internet. It's not a good idea. Ugh. Most people know where I'm going with this. But, you know. Use parental control. Don't blend media for your own mistakes. You made these mistakes. It's your fault. You fucked up. You should blame yourself. Not media. And this whole thing about that is Stupid. Like, I'm pretty. Mudahar from Some Ordinary Gamers made a video about this like three days ago, which is what I watched before making this one. So you may think I'm copying him, but I'm not. And YouTube. A lot of YouTubers are doing the exact same thing. Like, it's like the Pro Jared thing, which. I never got to upload because after it, like I think it was like two or three days, maybe the day after I recorded it, my tablet decided to burst in the flames that I recorded it on. It lost everything for that video. I just lost it. I I was too lazy to edit it together and crop it and post it. But that was my fault. I should have done that when I had a chance to, but I didn't, like, you, a lot of YouTubers have done stuff for that, so no one's copying each other because they're all, we're all saying different things about this, but it's all pretty much the same premise, but, yeah, reach out to congressmen, and wh or whoever you can and ask them to step in and stop this because this is just going to fuck everybody over like what the FCC and parents are doing are basically bending us all over like this and fucking us in the ass that's literally what they're doing right now and we'll probably keep doing it in the future because they don't like to 
They don't want to know. They don't want to be proven wrong. Even when they are. Because now that you can start and have to make more money than them. No, parents are just fucking stupid. But no. that's all I'm gonna say on the subject for now. I will post an update once I find mo out more about this. I hope. To see you in another gaming video tomorrow, or something, I don't know, maybe, but hopefully I'll be up to it tomorrow, I'm pretty sure I will, but let's keep our hopes up and pray, bye.